What's up guys, my name is Soulless Baby, and since it looks like we finally have all the details about the new Gambit Prime mode as a whole, I thought it would be a good time to make a one-stop shop detail video on all the information you need to know about the new mode. Again, please excuse my voice, I'm getting over a cold, so the nasalness is just here to stay for a minute. So, Gambit Prime is like a spin-off of the traditional Gambit we all know and mostly love, but it's supposed to be a much sweatier version. That's a direct quote from a developer. One of the biggest changes that you're going to notice is that it's only one round instead of three like it was before. So, it's just a race to the finish. I absolutely love that change personally. Gambit matches were too long for the lack of rewards that you got from them. That's a welcome change for many, not just myself. You will also now be able to drain moats from the opposing team if you're an invader, so you're not always stuck at a huge deficit, and that means no more hiding when I come in there trying to find your faces with my sniper rifle, so take that, campers. Primevils will also now spawn at 100 moats as opposed to the regular Gambit. All this sounds like the matches will be able to turn at the drop of a hat if you aren't careful. Blockers have also been changed, as the details of those were revealed in a recent TWAB, and the Gambit Prime, a fourth blocker tier, will be available to certain roles. Along with it being faster paced and more intense, there's also more incentives to play different styles and the roles that Bungie had in mind whenever Gambit was incepted. These roles are Reaper, Invader, Collector, and Sentry, and I will detail all these in just one second. Basically what you need to know is that each of these roles are dictated by the armor that you're going to be getting, and it's not like some character select screen before the match starts. Now you'll get all these armor pieces from a new PvE activity called the Reckoning, which we don't have a lot of details on yet, however you will be able to get your gear and select which role you want to get the gear for, so if you like hate invading, you're not going to have to worry about getting invader perks, you're going to be able to select which roles perks you're going to get on that armor for that specific drop. And I think that's really cool, since it kind of gives you a way out of having to grind super hard for the gear that you're going to want. Also, it's worth mentioning that you can stack roles, so you can have four Reapers if you would like to. So, moving on to the roles, let's start with the Reaper. This guy is designed to clear as many adds as possible, and the special armor perks they get are Weaken High Value Targets Multi-Kills Generate Special Ammo Gain Increased Moat Lifetime Powerful Enemies Increase Grenade Recharge Basically everything designed to make add slaying as quick and effortless as possible for this guy. Next, we have the Invader, my personal favorite role. This guy obviously is meant to be a thorn in the side of the enemy as much as possible. They get perks like Gain Ammo While Invading Improved Invasion Overshield Damage Bonus on Guardian Kills Lock and Drain Moats from the Enemy Bank I'm curious about what they mean by Gain Ammo While Invading, whether or not that's like regenerative like an Icebreaker, or like all at once you get two heavy ammo bullets whenever you jump in. And the draining moats is just awesome. I have some ideas for that. Moving on to the collector role. These guys are meant not for damage or slaying. Their job is to be a moat hoarder. We all know one of you people. You know who you are, you 15 moat carrying mini heart attack causing thing you. These guys get perks like drop their moats on death, getting moats gives an overshield, gain ammo on a moat deposit, and send a giant 20 moat blocker. You're gonna want to have at least one of these guys on your team. Those perks seem incredible, and depending on that big boy blocker, might be the difference between a win and a loss, and I'm curious about dropping their moats on death, whether that means all of them, or just a couple. Lastly, we have the sentry. Their job is to get rid of blockers as quickly as possible and defend against the invader, basically my arch nemesis. Their perks are multi-kills, grant, damage buff against taken, the bank will give a health regen, marks invaders for teammates, and buffs allies in the Well of Light. I also want to point out that you will need more than one armor piece to take advantage of all these perks, but you don't need a full set to get the full benefits, but I couldn't find any info on how many pieces you need to get the final buffs, but it does seem like they're making it reasonably easy for you to play the roles that you will enjoy. All of these roles make you feel like you're gonna want at least one of each on your team. Whenever you're playing Gambit, and I'm not really sure if that's how it's gonna end up, there's always something that's a little bit better than the rest of them, but I really hope that it ends up being a level playing field, and you'll be able to choose which one you want to play, and you won't feel the need to play one, just because it is head and shoulders better than the other ones that are out there. 
and each of them seem like they're gonna fit into the niche of each of the playstyles that I've seen in Gambit anyways. I was a fan of Gambit when I first played it, but with the breakneck I got really burnt out on it like a lot of people did, but all this has actually gotten me kind of excited to play it again. The same box changes coming seem like they're also going to be there for the greater good of the game mode. And I'm hoping that Gambit Prime actually ends up something I'll want to play more frequently, because the sandbox meta in the Crucible has just gotten really stale at this point, and a lot of the PvE content I just can't get into anymore, especially since I got all my god rolls out of the forge like most people did. That's all I have for you guys today, let me know in the comment section below what you think this game mode is going to be like. Like this video, it really does help me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel for future Destiny content, and with that guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.